Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to this Let's Play Total War Warhammer 2 as the Tomb Kings. Can't remember what I was wanting to do. You probably globally recruit. And what does he want to globally recruit? This insufferable mummy is irrelevant. Irrelevant? My master will return. Well, hey now. It's your 20 out of 20. Let's push you straight onto the springs of eternal life. Oh, marble in that settlement. Almost tempted just to fight that, just to have fun with the catapults, but we'll oh, resolve it. Can't believe I lost that many troops. Damn stupid all resolve. Catapults should have killed most of the their archers, and the archers should have. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, then this guy should have just tore them to shreds. Or the, yeah, yeah, tomb guard. Yeah, shouldn't have lost that much. Occupy. Harvest it. Harvest it. I may leave that there for now, unless I get the money making building. Yeah, demolish that for now. We'll get the money making building. Oh no, probably the public order building actually. Necrotect is up rank. What do we want to get him? That is the question. Upgrade to conquerors. And then we're gonna push straight down onto Casa Bar. Then over to here. Then up to or where's Antio? It must be there. Antop. We're gonna go into the unprotected belly. So I can recruit locally. Oh wow, so many archers. So many archers. One, two, three. I'll only take this time. You know what? If I'm only locally recruiting, head to here to start catching up. And go one, two, three. Right, how are we looking over here? Nekara rises from the sands. Right, um, it looks like their army is actually returning to try and fight mine. So I feel relatively safe here now. Public order is four. I deem it. You deem it. A couple of turns to get them. One unit of them. Two units of them. Get three units of archers from the global recruitment. Then if he has just left this completely abandoned as he's coming over to try and protect his capitale, then I'm in a very, very nice possession. The only problem is public order here. That's going to be a wee bit of a pain in the booty. Do you have a ranking up here? This one will give me more money because I'll be able to get that to level three. You don't have to worry about these orcs starting to want to go to war with me. Hopefully they go to war and they occupy each other. Because right now, if that happens, I'm in Major League Doodoo -doo Butter. The Doodoo -doo Butter will be Major League. Because I don't have time to deal with other people right now. I need to deal with this faction. And if the eight other factions give me time to deal with this faction, I'm then laughing. Because once they're gone... I'll be able to like uh, pick off the dwarves. I'll get that extra army. So many tomb guards. Um, I'll have build enough buildings to have so many tomb guards. Um, yeah, things are going to be glorious once I've taken the dwarves. We'll then push over, take these areas. Then I think we'll push over and take these areas. Then we'll come south, take over the wood elves. Then after that, I don't know. Maybe we should think about doing that quest battle actually. It was a level 6 quest battle, wasn't it? I should have a strong enough army to do a level 6 quest battle. Tomb Blade of Arkin. 
Weapon strength plus 10, magic attack, close battle on loot, the two blade of Arkin. Oh, that's very nice. That is a very, very nice. Duration, instant time, 23 seconds self. What triggers it though? 120 second cooldown, I think it's a, uh, you click it. Okay, so it's not like when casting like a lot of stuff or something like that. High public code. That is a very nice weapon. That is a very nice weapon. Can't see his weapon strength because, oh wait, yeah I can, 450, so I'll give him another 45. Lovely, lovely, lovely. He's just got a hand weapon at the moment. I would very much like that. Next turn, I think that's what we're going to do. Enemy forces. Reinforcements expected. Hmm. That was some very nasty nasties though. Tomb Guard, Feral Bastilodon, still on with Solar Engine. I don't really have much armor piercing. Tomb Guard would be good against them. Your anti infantry. Yeah, that might be hard to deal with the Bastilodons, but. I'll check afterwards. Right, what rights can we do? Oh, Casket of Souls. How much money would it cost? Can't see. The things. My, my pus is in the road. I'm guessing it's 4,000, similar to this one. I don't really want to spend 4,000 right now. Right, in turn for now. Right, we're back. The Winds of Pain. Eternal Life. Can't build that yet, but I can get in public order. Which we're really going to need here. It's plus 19, but that's because of the army's doing 20. And he's doing 6. Right, let's uh, jump you outside the settlement. Take a look at this. Teleport. It's going to cost me 500 only, but that's not too bad. Let's see. Let's check a look and see. What does it think? Yeah, seeing the odds are slightly not in my favour, I'm guessing they're going to get some nice reinforcements. Oh, I really... The Temple Guard I'm not too worried about. Famous last words, underestimating Temple Guard, but well, the reason is, is I've got a couple of catapults that can target them from the beginning and they'll be good against that. And the Temple Guard will probably tear Tomb Guard to shreds. Temple Guard are very nice. They've only got bronze level shields but 85 armour, so they are pretty armoured. So my archers aren't going to have that much effect on them. And I don't have a clue what their reinforcements are. Oh, I do have this guy. He'll be... Oh no, but they're anti-large. They'll probably be better against him than he is against them. Page. Right, let's fight it. Let's do it. Let's try it. Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? We're here. Come. Today we do Nagash's work. This pathetic rabble of reptiles presume to master the arts of resurrection. Their pitiful knowledge of such matters will die with them here before the statues of the gods. Slay them all. Bring me Alcadizar's remains. My tomb blade will burn with the light of Nagash. Right. It's true, eh? Ah, right, so we have to advance. We'll pause it now because I don't want to run out of time. Group views. Are they advancing to me? I thought they were. It looked like they were. Group views. They're my main front line. Ba -ba -bam -bam. Group them. They're my main archer line. Ba -bam 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 -bam. Okay. Uh, they only have one unit of spearmen. Yeah, they're my anti large line. Do this over here. 
He's an anti infantry. I'll put yous over here too. Actually, I'll put yous over here. Group. And you go there. Right, let's press play. They're not going to advance, but I'm going to advance my catapults enough that they're going to have to advance. I love having the artillery advantage. They're going to have to advance because I have artillery. Well, see that they're going to have to just camp up the back and get pounded. This this is an anti-morale effect as well, isn't it? Screaming skull catapults, I think they do. Now, look at them. Let's take a wee zoom in. Look at them screaming skulls. Catapults made of bone and giant claw on the end. Why is he not moving? I thought I'd give you his orders to move over here. Catapults are firing on what unit? I haven't given them orders to fire yet. Ah, okay. Just one of these big guys. Oh, he's on the temple guard though, so move a wee bit further forward. I'm just worried, how long is it until they get their reinforcements? Why could I not see their range? Ah, because they were facing the wrong way. Have they got ranged fire at the temple guard now? It's hard to tell, looks like it's borderline. Screaming skulls! Wah, 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 wah. Looks like that was aimed for the temple guard. Or they're just really bad aim. We may need to shimmy them a wee bit more forward. Now let's advance everything just ever so slightly. Make my line a wee bit nicer. I don't like having the screaming skulls that close. There we go, then that should give us plenty of range. Arcan, go right up to the front. Right, Screaming Skulls. Fire upon that Temple Guard unit. Surprised they're not advancing on me. So something I don't know here. Skulls away! There we go, uh, they're able to do their job now because they're anti-infantry. The temple guard are falling! Ah, uh, here we go, now they're advancing. But that temple guard unit's badly hurt, go after the other one. I should probably stick his on guard mode too. <laughs> Look at the temple guard fall! Some of them are getting back up, but not all of them. The other unit is there. That's providing them some cover, annoyingly. To shift my anti large over here. Spirit leech on the big guy. Right, let's see if I can get used to it. Come round on the flank. Melee troops charge! Catapults, so we'll let them get one more salvo off, and then we'll turn these around. Ah, that'll be enough, they're too close. 
Right, here comes their reinforcements. Right, anti large, where really he is. In here, in here, in here. Archers all focus on him for now, for the second. Spirit leech on these things again. Scorpion's got him, right, archers. Form up, prepare to fire upon just cold ones, right. Not so bad. Capults, fire on the cold ones. of Jura on those cold ones behind me what's coming behind me holy moly the whole extra army right archers all turn round please right we nearly got this priest though Archers, I'll go after their ranged stuff up there, please. There are so many things coming in. Do they have a new lord? Skink chief, just. The enemy lord is dead. Brilliant. Come on, Scorpion, we need you. Yes, right, yeah, this has turned into a bit of a mess. Skink cohorts, just brilliant. Get into the skink cohorts. The capels just fired into the ear. Oh, they are! They're firing at them in the ear. That's brilliant, but go after the skirmishers. Right, I think we've got things almost under control. Saurus Old Blood, where'd he come from? Uh, damage reduction. Been forgetting to cast that. Turn around, go after him. Good tomb guard. Right, where do I want my shabbity? Swimming into there. On him again. Nearly got things under control. I'll just finish off them. The Capels are sending him running. Capels go after that skink cohort. You stop running all the way over there. Oh, that was lovely. Did you see that? Oh, devastating. Let's go after that unit again. Right, we've nearly got them all. Nearly got them all. But they're coming back because they're tough buggers. Let's reach on that old blood again. I think they're all running now. Lovely. Right, where's the, there we go, victory. Victory. 
And we're back. Uh, extra replenishment, uh, Coptic jars, or money. No, I think I'm gonna take. I'm greedy when it comes to Canoptic Jars. I'll take the Canoptic Jars. And, oh, brilliant, a Tomb Guard unit. Successful. I have a couple of levels for Arkin, it looks like, and he got his blade. Jump back in here. Regiments of Renown. Well, I'm gonna want both. Merge them. Get this tomb guard. You know, boom. Merge. I'll use the local recruitment to get. Another unit of spearmen, I think. Oh no, I got another unit in the form of those guys. These guys here. Scorpion Legion spearmen. See, they've got poison attacks, a lot more melee attack, and a lot more... Uh, a lot more armor. They've added meat shield to them. And poison attacks. Charge bonus is up a wee bit. Melee defense is up quite a bit. Yeah, they'll be great. And which, why are these guys here? I'm going to have to jump between them. Right, uh, armor 72. Armor's the same. Leadership's a lot higher. Speed's the same. Melee attack, same part from they've got magical damage. Melee defense is actually lower than a basic Tomb Guard unit. Weapon strength 52. Weapon strength's quite a bit higher. Charge bonus 15, quite a bit higher. And they've got regeneration. Why they got less melee defense? Huh. Oh well, it's another unit of Tomb Guard that regenerates. They'll be dying faster though, so kind of counterproductive there. And Arkin has a couple of levels up. He has two, which both are going to go into arrows. Some of these things look very nice, though. So. Oh, that'd be nice. The casket of souls for his army would be very nice as well. Right hand in the gash. Ten percent to his hit points. Your magic power reserve. Oh, there's so many good things, but. Arrows of Asp are definitely the most important to get right now. And make these archers so much superior. As for you, you only need one more unit, so let's jump you down here. And we'll recruit one unit of swordsmen. Then the two armies together are going to march on Kasabar. Right, what else needs done on this turn? I thought we had a surplus. Where's the surplus? Here's the surplus, population surplus, but I don't need it. I don't have enough to get that. Okay. Anywhere else? I suppose we could get that, but is there anyone that's going to help me make money first? How are we doing here, recruitment wise? I should be doing local recruitment as well. We can get archers here now. Boom, up to the four units. Lava. And uh, I don't know where that came from. A couple of units of them. They're more versatile than just swordsmen. I suppose. It looks like he is protecting here with an army. But it's not as full ones. Hopefully they are coming back over here. I'd imagine they're about here by now. Ugh. They're gonna get here. It may be a Mexican standoff, but at least then I'll be able to push in this side. Mexican standoff. Right. Uh, do we need anything else this turn? Hmm. 
Enchanted items. The Vampires of the Sun, let me let uh, Scroll of Leeching. Did I have all my dynasty people? Ah, that's why I wanted tons and tons of... Okay, I remember now. It's a one for archers. Ability Frenzy. Death Blow. Tomb Guard one! Oh, ten armor for Tomb Guard weapon shit. Oh, lovely. I think we might get that. Oh, it's just large. Scale in chariots. Oh, Ability Hawkish Precision. But what does Hawkish Precision do? I won't know till I get it, will I? Bonus for infantry for my Tomb Scorpion, that'd be quite nice too. Okay, I want this for Archers. And the Shabti Archers. Hawkish Precision, I'm guessing it's just a buff to their... Uh, I'm guessing it's just a passive buff to their... Either their damage or their range. Hawkish Precision. Missile damage, I'm hoping. That would be very nice. We'll find out soon anyway. Because it should come up in here when it's done. And I hope it's not an activation ability. I don't... Archer activation ability. Hmm. We'll see anyway. It might be a really nice activation. I suppose activation abilities are often more powerful. Are normally far more powerful. But it's one... That's another piece of micromanagement that I'll forget. But anyway, let's end turn. Ah, okay, so it's a follower this research thing gave me. Okay. Follower to your faction, Herald of Camry. This, can I have one in each army, or have I only got one? Right, well, Arkan's got a lot of archers anyway. So. Allows the ability. Arrows of the Hawk, Bleeding Camry always found their mark in the neck, growing to this end of the armor. But yeah, well, it doesn't tell me what they do. It does. Still not tell me what it does. Hawkish Precision. Does it now appear on these? What does it do? What does it do? What does Hawkish Precision do? Tell me! Where is he? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What we'll appear in here? Campaign effects. Battle effects. Uh, where is it? I thought it appear in here now. Oh, wait. He doesn't have it yet. I've got to wait for the turn for him to get it. Right, so we'll find it next turn. Hopefully. Meanwhile, let's get the Tomb Guard upgrade. Allows death blow ability for Tomb Guard. What does the death blow ability do? <laughs> that sounds good. It might be completely useless though. I doubt it's completely useless, but is it completely useless? I don't know. Is it worth 150? Oh, I suppose I want this. So I suppose eventually I'll be wanting to spend all of them. Then how much is Canoptic Jars is it just to build an army? Yeah, a new army, 800. Uh, yeah, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 700, then 400 and 350. So yeah, it's a far more expensive to get the army for doing it this way. But you're getting bonuses too. So I'm definitely going to want this one, this one, and this one. So that's 450, that only leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's 600, so it's actually going to be, so once I've got the things I want here, I suppose I'm going to want the scorpion bonus, it's going to be cheaper to get it here once I've got the bonuses I want, and then I'm getting extra bonuses, so yeah, far better to do it here first, before you're coming in here and doing it here, plus it costs a lot of money here, that it doesn't cost there. Right, now though. Yes, we know your master will return. 
Servant of Nagash. Get moving your booty. Looks like it's unprotected for now. We may be able to nip in and take it and then we'll beat the Mexican standoff because then... Yeah, advantages. Well, maybe, hopefully. It's a Mexican standoff. Right. Do I have anything else we need to build this turn? I've got plenty of money. Money is funny, happy, and great. But I want to start using it to build these things up. Only 1,800, you know what? Yeah, let's get them all. It'll stop it, tell me, oh, there's a building that can be built everywhere, and I can just look for the hammers after that. At least in the most part. Start building them everywhere. How much does it upgrade it? 3,000? Oh, we're starting to run out of money. I'm going to leave it at that. Leave it at that. But yes. Well,. I'm not going to do another turn, but I'm going to end turn and we'll find out what that damn ability is. It better be good. Even if it is just like a buff, like 5% to their missile damage, I'll be happy. I can live with that. Armor Sundering. Oh, they'll be good against the dwarves. Right, we're back. We've got the Herald of Marhak. Savage Blow. Right, let us now go in here. Get the Marhack. Tomb armor for Tomb Guard, weapon stream for Tomb Guard. Lovely. And now see. Does. Do they have that? I don't see it. I'm gonna need to check in here then. See, the problem is, I just realised Hawkish Precision for Scale and Archers under Shabti Great Bulls. It might just. We've got the Archer upgrade, so it might just appear. Ammunition, missile damage for skate on archers. Ah, wait a minute. Ability Hawk is precision. It still won't tell me what it is! Gives them the ability. Then why is it not appearing here? Right, I'm pretty sure it was 24 last turn. Weapon damage they had. Oh, that guy's got 23. Oh, 25. I was... Looking at Sun wrong. Oh no, he does have 23. Pretty sure they had 24 last turn. So I think it's given them one extra missile damage. It's probably doing more, but I cannot see it here. I wish I knew what it did. Is my Tomb Guard a bear? 72 armor now. Eh, yeah, that's why that one's melee defense is lower. They don't have shields. Get your card. Turn to infantry damage dealer. Why is their melee attack not through the roof then? Because, like, these guys. Compared to these guys, it's because they've got two swords mainly. And they're slightly trained. Alright, anyway, yes. Hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me all next time. And if you know what those abilities do, please let me know in the comments. Bye, bye.